Hi, this is Danielle Hargenrader, founder of Diabetes Dominator and True Youth Fitness, here to show you today one of my favorite exercises that is two exercises combined into one to make a great move for strength, stretching, flexibility, mobility, and just getting fit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a downward dog to a high plank. So how we start out in a downward dog is you want to get down on the floor. You can come onto a tabletop position, hands and knees, and then what you want to do is Make sure your hands and your fingers are spread really, really wide, pushing into the palms of your hands. Then you want to bring your toes, your feet back, so that your body's in a, a kind of an upward V shape. You want to push back so that you're pushing your heels back towards the floor. And you want to have your shoulders and your, or I'm sorry, your ears in line with your biceps. And you really just want to push down through your legs and your arms. So you're pushing up and you're pushing back, so great full body stretch. But to make this into a real exercise, what we wanna do is we wanna shift our weight forward. So we have our hands flat, so from the downward dog, shift our body weight forward into a high plank. Now, a high plank is just the beginning of a push-up without doing the actual push-up. So you got your shoulders, wrists, and elbows in a nice straight line. You also have your spine in a straight line from your neck to your heels, meaning you're not here, and you're not here. You're in a nice straight line. So the exercise goes, push yourself back into downward dog, back to high plank. That's one repetition. Downward dog, high plank. That's two. Breathe. And breathe. Breathe. And breathe. All right? So this is a great stretch for your hamstrings, for your shoulders, and then when you're first starting out, you can try for 10 reps. So that would mean downward dog to side plank, or to high plank, that's one. And then back and forth till you get to 10. And what you can do when you really start getting proficient at that and it's really easy for you, you can start holding the downward dog for say 20 seconds, then shift into the high plank and hold the high plank for 20 seconds and do 10 reps where you're holding for 20 seconds on each rep. That will give you incredible flexibility. You'll feel really stretchy and really wonderful. And I promise you, this looks tough, and it is, but you are much stronger than you think you are, so give it a go, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.